This reading is from Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, November 16th through November 30th, 2018. I've already shuffled and meditated because I, I take way too much um, time to shuffle and meditate. Sometimes I shuffle really long and I didn't want to bore people with that, so I laid out the cards. Um, I do have an angel card, a fairy card, and a guardian angel message that um, you know, we'll go over at the end. Uh, I was half tempted to shuffle these and uh, redo them because it's not, you don't get a good feeling. Just don't get a good feeling. So, this is your past, this is your present, and this is your future. Um, in the past, we have the death card. I think everybody knows what the death card means. So there has been some kind of dramatic ending in your life. Um, this Knight of Swords in reverse underneath it also signifies the same thing. It's just a sudden screeching halt to, to something. So. Something came, I think it came quick, I think it was a little bit of a shock, and it happened, and, um, you know, sometimes these things need to happen. Angels, guardian angels, um, make these things happen if we're not following the path that we're supposed to be on. Uh, so your death card represents a Scorpio. United of Swords is a uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, the good news is that these cards are in the past. So, you know, the situation that did happen, I feel like it's on its way out, or at least you can start to recover from it. Um, it could go, there's a few wands here, which leads me to career. I feel like maybe somebody's career ended suddenly. Maybe, um, you know, you, you, they just came in one day and said, sorry, the company's closing and um, you don't have a job anymore. And here, you're eligible for unemployment. So, you know, bye-bye. Uh, glad that you worked with us for the last 20 years. <laughs> you know, so um, it happened and There's also a possibility, even with all these wands, that um, a relationship has ended. Ended suddenly. Maybe you found out something about this person and all of a sudden you were like, whoa, hold on here. This is not what I thought I was getting myself into. Um, with the Knight of Swords being in reverse, you know, you're not moving forward. I feel like you're stuck here. Uh, you are moving towards this Ten of Swords, so you're just like kind of dwelling on this hurt. It hurts, it hurts. Um, you need to, you know, let go of that. You definitely need to let go of that. I think that it was just so sudden and so quick that you just couldn't. We're having a hard time letting go of it. Your page of wands here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you know, he's standing there and he's waiting for that message and it's not coming. So if it was a career, um, you know, maybe you've put your applications out there and you're just not getting any callbacks, uh, it's delays. Uh, if it's a relationship, uh, maybe you're putting yourself out there and you're trying to talk to the person and they're just not responding. Um, there's just communication is upside down. It's not happening. Just standing there waiting. I also notice as I'm looking at the cards, um, these are all single people. They're all single. There's no other people on these cards. Which leads me to believe that this probably was a relationship. 
and now um, you're standing alone. This Ten of Swords in the current position, you know, he's face up. He sees what has happened and he's hurting. Ten of Swords is a Gemini. Um, he's not, you know, the swords aren't in his back. He's face up. So I feel like he knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. He knew this wasn't right. But just continued to stay in it anyway. So your Ten of Swords is a Gemini. Could possibly be a Gemini Virgo. Um, in your future, you know, you need to come to the realization that this uh, relationship was just too much work every day, putting in effort just to keep it going, just to keep that fire burning at home, um, you know, and, and you're tired and don't want to do this anymore. Um, if, it was a, if it was a job, you know, I think that maybe your boss was just putting too much stress on you anyway. And, uh, you know, it ha I, I go back to my, my same thing all the time, that everything happens for a reason. Um, don't try to force life, you know. Don't put in so much effort that it, that it makes you exhausted. Um, you, you're... Yeah, the Seven of Wands is reversed. Um, I was going to say you feel like you're constantly defending yourself. But you know, now that it's reversed, maybe you don't feel that way anymore. And, and that's what's going to come out of this. There's no need for you to, to um, feel. Uh, this Seven of Wands here as the final outcome in reverse, or as your future, I should say. Um, you know, this isn't going to change. It's going to continue. It's just going to keep repeating itself. If this is a person that was in your life, you're just constantly going to feel like you're battling or defending yourself or um, or that you have to keep up these walls. I'm hearing walking on eggshells. I, I don't want to feel like I have to walk on eggshells anymore. You need to come to this realization so you, so you can move on. You're unable to move on. Um, you know, your, your eight of wands here is, is backward, is uh, upside down, backwards, excuse me. Um, you know, which means that you're not, you're not moving. You're just kind of like stagnant. There's also no communication here with this Eight of Wands. Um, so in the past, we have the death and the uh, relationship coming to a screeching halt, whatever it was, a career or your love life. Um, here we have no communication, no communication, delayed messages, uh, you saw this coming. I definitely feel like you saw this coming and you're hurting from it, but um, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the effort. Uh, you know, now you can, now you, you don't have to defend yourself anymore. You don't have to put up these blockages or these walls and you don't have to walk on eggshells anymore. And, and it was a good thing. It was, believe it or not, whatever this was, was a good thing because I really get the feeling like you were not happy in the situation. Um, with the Eight of Wands, you know, they're not coming back. They're not going to communicate with you. They're not going to answer your message. You are not going to move forward with this person. It's over. Call it quits. Be done. Move on. Uh, your guardian angel here, we have the helper of action. This was on the bottom of the deck. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great. If you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. So get busy, follow your instincts, and have some fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. So there's definitely somebody else coming into your life, um, or a new career coming into your life. Uh, get busy, keep yourself busy. You know, whip up your resume or, or go to some functions. Um, have fun, have fun, get out there. Uh, you know, move on with your life, pretty much. Um, the Clair Angel of Clairsentience, I don't know if you can see that, was on the bottom of the deck here. Um, you know, once again, I think that you saw it coming, you felt it. You can feel when something's not good, you can feel it. The angel that surrounds you, the angel of truth, 
Uh, oh, so the truth came out. The truth came out of something here. Um, you found out about something. When the angel of truth is with you, um, they bring these things to your attention so that you can end this relationship that's just not good for you. It's not good. You're a fairy. Uh, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. So, <laughs> once again, you know, forgive the person. You should always forgive the person. Um, don't hold on to the anger. I don't feel like it's good. I feel like it just, you know, makes people resent um, things. Just let go of it. Maybe meditate a little bit and, and you know, connect with yourself and um, let go of the anger. Let go of the anger so you can bring good things into your life. Um, organization. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly. If you add a little organization and discipline to your methods, the key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual, intellectual, or seek out a mentor. Um, the, the card of the four is the, uh, the emperor. Maybe this guy was too old for you anyway. Oh, look, and on the bottom of the fairy stack, we have children. So this could be a, a parent-child relationship. Uh, maybe you're in a fight with one of your parents. Something came out. The truth came out, and you just don't want to talk to them anymore. You know, we um, we don't get to pick our family, unfortunately. But if we don't like the family members that are in our life, we do have the freedom to let them go. This is free will here. Don't feel obligated to um, have somebody in your life that just keeps hurting you over and over. Um, you know, just because they're a family member. There's two tens here. Got the ten of swords, ten of wands. So I do feel like this is at its end. The cycle is ending. So I feel like maybe on the 18th, or on the 17th, 17th and the 18th may be good days for you to, um, which is good. So at the very beginning of the reading, this reading is from the 16th to the 30th. So um, 17th and 18th might be good days for you to, to start to, you know, let go of this and move on. So anyway, burgers, I'm going to wrap it up. I feel like if you do forgive this person and you open up your um, path to move on start focusing on yourself doing things for yourself and where you want to go in life then i feel like something so much better is going to come to you so much better maybe you have children with this person as well and you just don't want to let go of it because of the children it's a shame if you really feel that strongly about something maybe you should try and work it out Thank you.